Welcome. Lee and I are going to be discussing a Revelation series from the Church of God Restoration. Our first video is of Addison Everett, and we're splitting the videos up into smaller pieces, covering one point at a time. Hopefully this will be easier for you to view. We hope you enjoy the series. Yeah, this is a response video to uh, the Revelation series, the first of uh, the 15 uh, videos that they did, um, featuring, in this particular case, Addison Everett. So we'll be taking a look at what he had to say and uh, just running through some of the things that uh, we might find uh, to indicate that there's either a lack of thought on their part or they have taken some positions that simply aren't biblical. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up a slide. We'll look at... Um, uh, I think about 10 different um, uh, items as we pass through, and we will um, pause in between each one of them and have a brief discussion. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen at this point. So we have a um, response video, and why do the response video? <clears throat> I'm going to just cut to the quick and say it's because there are a number of errors in their videos, and they need to be thought about if you're going to be interested in looking at the group you need to have some understanding of what it is that they're teaching um, and a lot of the things that they say they have evidence for they simply don't so bad theology is a bad deal so we have first of all the point uh, that we want to make first is that uh, addison has made some expectation that we should believe in things but he hasn't really told us a great deal about what it is that we're supposed to believe in i think it is beautiful and I want to tell you this morning that if you don't believe God based on these prophecies, you do not believe God. Amen. We believe this prophecy over whether we ever see another miracle or not, That's right. whether anyone's ever healed. I'm saying if every one of us die and God, and we pray and God doesn't heal one more person in our midst, if we never raise the dead, we believe we are the people of God Amen. based upon this revelation. Amen. This is our more sure word of prophecy. Yes, so Addison says, this is beautiful. And I want to tell you this morning that if you don't believe God based on these prophecies, you don't believe God. Um, well, why is that an issue? It's an issue because Addison's claim uh, is egregious. He, he provides no support or definition for his claims whatsoever. Uh, but the only way to fit in into the group is to believe uh, all of what he has to say, even though it's undefined. Um, I thought about this a bit, and it's sort of like, uh, is this a deal for you? It won't last long. You need to do something about it. It rides like a Cadillac, Cadillac and gets 75 miles per gallon. And if you don't believe me, you don't believe God. Don't let this one slip away. So what do we think about that sort of thing? Well, I've heard that quite a bit when I was uh, attending their services, uh, especially if you don't believe in prophecy. And their interpretation of prophecy at that point is finding themselves in prophecy and in their lineage, their prophetic lineage. And, and they point... They point all the way back to the Garden of Eden and somehow line themselves up with with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and then they go on to um, sort of mental Simons and just line themselves up in a line and say that they found themselves in the line of prophecy. And if you don't believe that, you don't believe in God. So it's interesting because they don't look at prophecy as in biblical prophecy as when you and I read read through scripture, their take on prophecy is just simply finding themselves and their lineage in that line of prophecy, telling you that they are there and you need to believe that or you don't believe in God. That's an interesting claim. If I were to ask you to show me a scripture that talks about the COGR or any of the apostles, could you do that? I can't do that. I, I've searched for it myself and I don't find it in there. Nothing points to the Church of God or the three, to Daniel Lane or to Ray Tinsman. And you would think that it would, seeing how the, what, what they're claiming, that Ray is the governor of the world, and that if you don't believe in them, that you 
you've lost your salvation. So you would assume that somewhere that would be pointed out to us in scripture to point us in that direction. And I can't find them anywhere outside of, as like I said before, the the false prophets and the false apostles. That's the only place I can find them, Lee. <laughs> this brings us to the end of part one of Addison's message. Thank you for joining us. The following slides are resources you may wish to use for reference. The resource slides go by rather quickly for sake of time. You may wish to pause on them to read them. There is a link in the description box to the Google Classroom where you will find the resources for this video. Is a bitter pill to swallow. Pay it back the hope I borrow from someone I never knew. And it's a poor fit. Humans in the suits of heroes, undressed by whispered conspiracies and in quest for the truth. If the truth is what you're looking for, you don't get to choose the answers anymore. So tell me, do you really still believe that the truth will set you